everybody, it's Josh with Talk About Trek. And as I've been going through my collection and reshelving and moving things around, it's come to my attention that I've got some toys that in the boxes really aren't so great. Like, why am I keeping this Counselor Troy in a box when the box is all covered with spots and it's uh, just not... Look at that. See, look, it's stained. It's messed up. It's not... It's not a nice box, right? So why, why am I keeping it in this box? I know it is a collector's edition. Look, look. Oh my gosh, look, it's got a gold thing on it. <gasps> Maybe I shouldn't open it. Maybe I shouldn't, but as I'm looking behind me, I've got a nice shelf there of Counselor Troy toys. One thing that is not upon that shelf, however, is one of these larger old school Playmates. So I would like to take the opportunity now to open this here with you, have a look at what's inside, and then uh, later on we can add her to the shelf and uh, just another addition to the collection, right? So let's dive right in. So this is the Counselor Deanna Troy from, of course, Star Trek Insurrection. So you've got her here in her... I think we need to open from the bottom, actually. You've got her here in her insurrection civilian garb. So let's ah. Ooh, fresh and clean. Look at that. See, already you're looking at something better. Now, I gotta say the face is the face is bad. Yeah, I mean it's, it's not very good. Um Well, you know. I gotta say, the camera doesn't do it as much justice as just looking at it straight on here does. And, uh, and I'm not prepared with the scissors. Here they are. Okay. But she is, of course, tied down here with a couple of these things to keep her from getting stolen or whatever. So let's, let's cut her loose so we can actually have a good look here. And I'm thinking, too, that the camera maybe isn't able to do justice to what the the true quality here on the face might be. Now let's go to the back so that we avoid any damage to the wonderful toy here. So, so here we go. Here is your Playmate Star Trek Insurrection Counselor Troy wearing her civilian garb. She's got a black jacket and a little tank top on there. And, um, you know, I was thinking at first maybe I didn't like the face, but, you know, I think it's one of those things where, okay, yeah, it's not great, but uh, let's see what accessories she comes with. We'll just have her head popping up there so you all can enjoy it. Of course, you have your standard issue Starfleet action base, uh, which I actually do not use. I have a million figures over there. None of them are on bases. What I do have is a giant box full of bases down here. But don't don't ask me why. This is how it goes. Now, what does she come equipped with? That's what's really important here. Accessories, right? So, she is coming equipped with your standard uh, supply kit, I guess. You've got your, uh, you got a thermos, thermos full of coffee, hot chocolate maybe, and of course your tricorder and phaser. And again, the same with the Starfleet action bases. I've got a giant box down here full of phasers and tricorders and other things that one day I hope and dream that maybe I'll like sort into like a, you know, like those things with the little drawers. I can pull out like a little drawer full of orange phasers. <laughs> like a, a little drawer full of tricorders, you know, and here's my big drawer full of bases. Anyway, this is all just things that, uh, that, that go through my crazy Star Trek addled mind. So anyway, uh, what we've done here today is opened up Star Trek Insurrection Counselor Troy, and we'll pop her on the shelf there behind us. And uh, we can't really see the... Let me see here, actually. Let me give you a shot. Boom. Right there. She will go... Like right there. That's all the other Counselor Troys. 
she'll end up right there. And uh, if you're interested, you can go back and watch one of my earlier videos. I think it was titled "My Very Fine Toys, My Counselor Troys." As I was doing some silly rhyming titles at the time, and it was fun. But uh, you can check that out too. So anyway, let's keep opening up more toys. Let's put her here on the small cam, chilling out, because as with the other one, we've got another very damaged box here. Like, check this out. Look, we've got water damage across the bottom. We've got tears across the bottom. Um, it's just filthy. It's a mess, and it's a big giant bones, right? So let's open this big giant bones together right now. Actually, really excited to open this to be honest with you. Um, let's see how he's tied down here. Oh goodness. They do not want him going anywhere. So this dude is tied down with like six ties. Hold that's not too loud. Here we go. We're gonna do some quick untying here. And we're gonna have a look at this giant bones, which is something that uh you know, as you can see, I've got a whole shelf here. That's my Spock shelf. That's the Kirk shelf. You know, that whole... Where am I going? That shelf right there. That whole shelf right there. That is all the Kirk shelf. But, you know, Bones, he does not get enough love in my collection. And uh, that is something we are going to remedy uh, sooner rather than later. Because we do have to do a fair bit of uh, moving things around and changing things around as we've added some new things to the collection here. So, with that, our bones is free. Leonard McCoy join us tonight on Talk About Trek. So this is a, this is an excellent figure. Look at this. Now first off, look at the face. That compared to her right I mean like it's not just me and the focus is terrible you're not gonna get a great focus on that but I'll tell you right now just by looking at it it's just a very good toy it's a very good sculpt it's a big toy it feels uh, feels like you could pose it in uh, lots of different ways and uh, he does, of course, come with a few accessories here. There is no action base. No Starfleet. Hello. There's no Starfleet action base here. Uh, but you do have a tricorder. A medical tricorder, I guess, there. You've got a phaser. And you've got your standard issue communicator. So nothing spectacular to speak of there, but... The real joy is in the bones himself. So, supremely poseable. Sit your bones down. Uh, your bones can do karate kicks. <sighs> and uh, just whatever you would want him to do. So, for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bones, and he will be the start of a... <sighs> Anyway, uh, here's the plan. Everybody pay attention. So if you look up here, this is Eagle Moss Starships. I'm going to take these out, put them down here. And then in the place of these, we're going to have our original series shelf up here, which is going to feature Bones, Uhura, Sulu, and Chekhov. Sulu and check off. And Scotty, of course. And uh, it may even come where we do these whole two rows right here devoted to the rest of the TOS cast. Uh, because the the other ships, they might have a another place to be. So anyway, these are all things that are kind of popping around in my brain that we're going to be doing and doing and talking about in the future. So... Um, I look forward to that. It's always fun to reorganize and kind of, I kind of feel like I'm never going to be done. 
I'm always adding something to it, so I'm going to keep going and keep reorganizing and more and more and more. But anyway, it's fun to do. So anyway, that's it for the unboxing videos. The Bones was the highlight. I love Counselor Troy, but the figure was kind of meh. But uh, it'll go on the shelf, and I will enjoy viewing it there. As always, live long and prosper. We'll see you all in the next one.